Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. Turn on the tap and you expect safe drinking water. Our actions have consequences. But that may not be the case soon, says this group of environmentalists and politicians who claim cuts to conservation programs threaten the water supply. 2011 reversed 40 years of Florida's progress in water and land conservation. Former governor and U.S. Senator Bob Graham now serves as head of the Florida Conservation Coalition. Graham says a $700 million funding cut to the state's five water management districts is destroying decades of conservation work. The water management district, which has represented the state in the federal-state partnership, uh, has been uh, stripped in terms of its professionals, uh, its funding, uh, and its authority. The cuts passed by lawmakers in May resulted in hundreds of layoffs, including scientists and engineers. Cutting the cash flow is also preventing the state from buying up lands near rivers and streams to protect waterways through conservation. The cuts help state lawmakers balance the budget and give homeowners a $200 million tax break, but environmentalists say you can't put a price on clean water. We want to stop the harm that's being done right now to the environment, and then we can start talking about what we need to do to start fixing things. In an op-ed published Sunday, Governor Rick Scott wrote, a healthy environment is key to Florida's economy. The coalition plans to hold the governor to his words. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.